there, beautiful people. Hola, hola, it is me, Jazzy Mac, and I am so excited to be bringing you a job opportunity for Amazon. And this is going to be more of the beginner friendly roles, but it is a no phones role. So we're going to get into this role. And because you know, I love you. I've got additional roles out here for those of you with different levels of experience. Most of these are going to be no phones. Okay. Fully remote where they provide you the equipment. For those of you that are talkers, I do have a phones role for you, but we've got a bunch of roles out here that are going to be like more email support, maybe some chat support. So let's hop right in. I'm very excited. I'm going to just go ahead and get into these Amazon roles first um, because I think this role is going to go very quickly. But just know and understand that I definitely have already placed these resumes in your portal. So let's go ahead and get started with the first role. This first role is going to be an accounting assistant for ShopBob. If you've never heard of ShopBob, um, they're pretty much like a little sister company or you think of it as a subsidiary of Amazon that sells high-end fashion. So whether it's like, it could be Gucci bags or it could be Chanel bags, they sell those products. Okay. So nobody, a lot of people didn't know that Amazon had those types of things. Um, but it's, it's through ShopBop. So it says ShopBop is seeking an accounting assistant to support the finance and accounting team in Madison. Now, do you want to point out for the job details, Madison is going to be, if you want it to go into the office, or have your own space, um, you could do that. But it also says USA virtual, meaning that this position can be remote anywhere in the United States. Now, I've got a special position out here for Canada, but I did want to make sure you understand that this is for Madison as well as a virtual position for anywhere in the USA, okay? So what you're going to do is process vendor account updates. Um, you're going to maybe do some things with brand payee relationships and maintain vendor relations. So if you've ever been an executive assistant, this is the type of stuff that you're used to doing in your everyday routine. Okay. But if you've never done this, some of the types of jobs that would be perfect for this, as far as history goes, would be if you've ever worked for like a UPS a FedEx, you've ever done uh, any type of logistics um, where you may have been responsible for, you know, supply management, vendor management, um, building customer relationships, all of that's going to be perfect experience. So I do want to point out that you are working as an accounting assistant. So you don't have to have this um, accounting experience um, as far as being like a, a CPA or anything like that, okay? Now, Amazon is very, very military friendly. So they have made a, like a, a little, they've added this onto the job description to say it's, as far as a qualification, having two years of professional experience or military experience. I can say this, um, when I worked there, when I worked for Amazon over on their corporate side, they actually have um, like those little, um, what do you call those groups? Um, the employee resource groups, and they have a specific group for veterans and families of veterans. So they're very veteran friendly. If you've been out of the military for a while and, you know, you've just been looking for work, Amazon is one of the most like uh, veteran friendly companies that you can come across. Okay. So now also having some experience with Microsoft office, you know, have a high school diploma. That's about it. You don't really need the accounting or finance experience. Um, if you've done cust like basic customer service where you were dealing with, you know, maybe, ringing customers up for their orders. Maybe you did refund management. Maybe you did some collections. Um, you were like a collections agent. All of that is still um, in the realm of accounting and finance. You're still dealing with numbers. You're still dealing with money. Um, so when it comes to accounts payables, this is going to be basically like 
you making sure that Amazon is paying its vendors. So maybe Amazon did a collaboration with Walmart or, you know, maybe Walmart provided some sort of service for Amazon. You're going to be the person that's like, okay, let me make sure that we paid Walmart uh, for the work that they did. So as far as the pay goes, you can get paid up to $84,000. Let me explain to you how Amazon does their uh, pay structure. So you're going to get a base salary. The base salary is going to be very competitive. Trust me. In addition to the base salary, many times you will also get a sign-on bonus, okay? If you do really well in your job interview, um, many times they will offer you a sign-on bonus. I've seen those bonuses be as little as $10,000, and I've seen them be like high five figures, even like six figures, depending on the type of role. So there's a base salary, a sign-on bonus, and then they also give you the... Uh, stock in the company. Okay. And we know stock at the end of the day is just free money when they're giving you those RSU. So you got a lot of potential room to, you know, get paid really, really high, really, really well for this um, accounting assistant position. Okay. So if you're someone that likes numbers, you're someone that is very organized and you don't want to be on the phones talking to customers this is going to be the perfect role for you. Now, I got some additional opportunities, don't worry, um, but I did forget to do my shout outs, forgive me. So we have H West that said, hey Jazzy, wanted to let you know that because of your templates on Paybump, I just attended my first day of training at Yelp. As an account executive, I will be using your services again to get my mom out of construction and into a remote job. Thanks again for your services. Well, thank you for believing in yourself and just putting in that time. And I just love the fact that you're like saying, hey, mom, we're, we got to get you a remote job because that's just it's such a thoughtful thing to do, because a lot of us still have working parents that are like out here physically, you know, in these corporate America streets. OK, so let's bring our parents back home, right? I love that. That's so thoughtful of you. And then they said, Jazzy, I just want to thank you. I've been a, I've been busy. I had interviews with Yelp and Nailnet, and I got an offer with Nailnet. It's a foot in the door. And she said, I like to see more opportunities that are Monday through Friday paying more than $17. Listen, you are exactly right when you say it's a foot in the door because number one, you have to go through a security clearance to get the job at Nailnet. If you can pass that security clearance, you've opened yourself up to pre to like working for any government company in the USA or even overseas. A lot of people want to do that overseas contract work that pays a hundred thousand dollars minimum to do like customer support in Dubai or Kuwait and all those other like Middle Eastern countries. Trust me, this is the perfect foot in the door for you. And then we have uh, Miss Homies that I had an interview today. I got the job at CVS Health. I got rejected. Didn't stop me from applying. It actually, it can get discouraging at one point in time. I contemplated giving up, but I'm not a quitter. And I use the rejection as motivation. I absolutely love it. Congratulations to you. Let us know how it goes at CVS. And then Miss Kristen said, hi, Jazzy. I got your resume kit yesterday. I was just working my way through all the steps. Thank you so much for everything you do. I'm excited to go to the next level of my career. That was six days ago. And then they came back literally a few days later to say, Jazzy Mac, I said I would let you know I got the job with Verizon. I start November 13th. I have been praying. Thank you for all your help and encouragement. Yes, I love it. Congratulations to you. November 13th is literally around the corner. So I am freaking excited to understand and know what your day to day is going to be like and just to just hear about your experience. So I'm really proud of you. I'm just so proud of you. Okay, so let's get back to our lovely jobs, people. Okay, now we've got the Amazon shop, Bob. Now the next job that we're gonna look at is gonna be for Zoom. All of you have heard of Zoom, you've used it. This job is going to be more of a technical sort of role. Now I'll show you some that's more beginner friendly, but this is going to be more like mid-level. You've worked in tech for a few years and you've got a lot of good 
background configure or um, a lot of good tech background and things like configuration management, um, providing solutions. So let's take a closer look at what this ultimately entails. So it says Zoom is looking to grow its global customer global contact center solution engineering team. Okay, so contact center consulting solution engineers serve as the experts in Zoom's portfolio of contact center capabilities. So what this is saying in a fancy way is that nowadays, Zoom is now the software that a lot of contact centers use. If you've ever worked in a contact center, they might have used software like Avaya, um, you know, other types of software uh, for contacting customers and for working with customers. But now Zoom is actually being used because a lot of customers want you to do demonstrations for them or they want to share their screen with you. So uh, Zoom now has that integration with these contact centers. So if you're someone that has some technical experience, um, especially working with different types of SaaS solutions, which is software as a service solutions, if you've got that contact center experience and you've got a little bit of configuration management experience, this is going to be perfect for you. Um, it says down here they want you to have some CCAS, which is contact center as a solution um, experience, and then Salesforce and Zendesk. We've talked about Salesforce and Zendesk both of them are used for things ranging from uh, tracking tickets to communicating with customers. Um, it can even, when it comes to Salesforce, many of you have probably used Salesforce and that is used for everything from project management to tracking revenue um, to tracking uh, project allocations, right? So again, if you've got some configuration management experience or some integration experience, um, especially as it relates to REST APIs, that's going to be a big plus for you because we talked about how Zoom is being used um, to integrate with a lot of third-party softwares, okay? Um, a lot of you may have used Zoom and you synced it with your iCloud calendar or with your Google calendar. Um, that is an example of an integration with a third party app. So a lot of you already have this experience, but what I love about it, honey, is the pay. Mucho dinero, right? Because $135,000 is the minimum. Do you hear me? The minimum, up to $270,000. And they're going to give you a base salary, a bonus, and equity in the company, which means they're giving you stock in the company, which is additional free money for you. Okay? So Zoom this resume is already in your portal. I don't know how long this job is going to be out there, but this is kind of like that end of the year sort of push. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and put your applications in because as we go through November, the holidays are going to come up, Thanksgiving's going to come up, and then Christmas comes up. Like everything pretty much shuts down around the middle of November. So if you have not put in applications for these jobs by like today, you are pretty much not going to be able to get hired. It's going to be very difficult because everybody's going to be going on holiday breaks and, you know, that sort of stuff. So I did want to point out that there's also a similar uh, position, but this is a technical account manager position. Um, it is very much a sales position, a high level sales position, um, but it is more so for the people that are tech savvy that perform these demos for customers. Maybe there are customers that are having some sort of technical issues and you're kind of like the middleman. Um, so you might sell the solution, but you might also um, just have this technical expertise about what the customer needs or what they're they're saying they want to do to scale their business model, right? So you're going to work in partnership with the customer success manager on the sales team. And then you're probably going to also work with the more technical people. So you're kind of like the middleman. Again, a very, very high paying role. This one, um, it's, it's a little bit more salesy. It's not as technical as the position we just looked at. So it's going to start you at 82,000 minimum up to 144,000. And yes, this position is also based in 
um, the United States, as well as Canada. So if you're in Canada, this position just opened up. Uh, make sure you go ahead and apply because I don't know how long this position's going to be out there, okay? So another position that I wanted to show you all that we've talked about before is the fanatics role. This is the customer support associate role. Now, someone asked me not long ago if I could find any jobs that re were related to gaming, the gaming industry. Now, I don't know if they were talking about gaming as far as like, you know, Microsoft, uh, Xbox, or, you know, uh, Nintendo. That's one type of gaming, but there's also another type of gaming that relates to like casino no gaming and sports betting and fantasy football and that sort of stuff. So that's that's where Fanatics comes in at, okay? It says that they have products and services across betting and gaming, allowing sports fans to buy, collect, and bet on these different sports, right? So pretty cool um, opportunity. You probably have heard of Fanatics, right? So um, with Fanatics, it says you're going to liaise between Fanatics collectibles and consumers. You're going to take these calls. It could be telephone, email, or direct mail channels. Okay. And you're basically just delivering good customer service on a case by case basis. Nothing too crazy here. They're not asking you to have a whole lot of experience. It's just saying willingness to work through phone or email interactions with customers, um, including evenings and weekends. So a lot of you have been looking for those evening roles, those weekend roles. Um, this is going to be your opportunity to get in the door, okay, before things get crazy with this holiday end of the year rush, okay? Now, as far as the salary is concerned, they're gonna start you at 20 to $25 per hour, okay? Um, it says that that doesn't even include the short-term or long-term incentive compensation. So it sounds like that's just your base salary um, and that they're also going to either give you some sort of sign-on bonus or, you know, just these performance bonuses that are going to be added to that $25 per hour, okay? So make sure you apply for this job ASAP. I want to say that they're also open to um, California applicants. I know sometimes it can be like iffy with California, but I think that they do offer California work. Not sure about New York, but you know, it's still worth applying for because it does say remote USA. I don't see any specific state restrictions. So that's all I have for you all today. I'm very excited for those of you that have already landed jobs. You all are amazing. I just love the work that you all are doing. And let me know which one of these jobs you're going to be applying for and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more job selections like this. Okay. Until the next time, good folks, I will see you later. Bye.